the most aggressive mountain bikes in the world, downhill bikes, use dual crown forks to improve the steering precision and overall suspension performance. But is that something that you want on a slightly less aggressive long travel e-bike like this Propane Akano CF? I am not sure, but for Formula's new Belva fork is aiming to offer that steering precision and improve suspension performance, but comes in about the same weight as a RockShox Zeb. So let's hit the trails, learn a little bit about Formula's new Belva and see how it performs in this fresh ride review on thelonewolf.com. Let's go. Before I get into my ride impressions on the new Formula Belva, let's cut to Sim from Formula, who's gonna give us a little run through of the details and then we'll talk about how it's been performing on the trails. My name's Sim, I'm from Formula. What we have here is our dual crown enduro fork named the Belva. The Belva means the beast, it's like a mythical beast. Uh, it kind of comes from the idea that a lot of our products have names associated with Dante's Inferno. Uh, so the beast lived in the Selva, which was the woods, and that's our other fork. Uh, this is a project that started about three years ago um, because we were looking for ways to address the idea of stiffness. A lot of our competitors were looking at producing 38 mil stanchions and we said, well, that's great, but from an engineering point of view, what we want to do is have a dual crown fork because that puts the stiffness where you really need it and allows a bit of flexibility, but lower down. So you've got that comfort and grip. So it's taken a while to get that kind of feel sorted. Uh, we've played with different thicknesses of stanchion tube. We've got it down to a T now. So we've got the feel that we're after, we've got the stiffness, we've got the compliance, and uh, we've got the performance. So it uses a lot of the technologies that we have on our other products. We've got a compression tuning system. So you can change the tuning with a, a valve that's removable. You could do that on the trail. It's got a lockout, enduro specific crowns, which are lighter, 43 mil offset, 15 mil axle, Basically, it's got everything you need for a proper enduro fork. And we know it's not gonna be for everyone. We're not saying it is. Um, but for those people who are looking for something that's a little bit special, a little bit different, and appreciate the engineering that's gone into it, we think this is the answer. So, comes as 170, 180 mil travel. Uh, that can be tuned, but for most people, 170, 180 is gonna be it. It comes in the black, comes in our signature violet as well. Uh, comes with a full CTS uh, availability, so you could change that, make it how you want. Comes with Neopos, which is our volume reduction system in the air, in the air spring. Comes in at 1,850 euro. managed to log a solid day of testing on the new Formula Belva as part of the Mountain Bike Connection Winter 2024 event here in Massa Maritima in Tuscany in Italy and I hopped on this fork I was very excited when I met up with Formula got their little marketing kind of meeting and uh, learned all about it and I was yeah just really excited really uh, yeah pretty stoked to hit the trails here with a dual crown fork fitted to the front of a bike and just to, to just to try and get that feeling capture that sort of essence that that character of a dual crown fork that downhill style just like full-on uh, throttle wide open attacking um, and yeah take that to a slightly shorter travel platform it, it just gave me all these kind of notions that I'd uh, just be able to absolutely send it and uh, have a really good time and it hasn't disappointed this has definitely been a fork that has really excelled on the terrain here um, however I have not ridden anything this week on the trails in these conditions that is quite comparable. Um, not had the chance to back to back with a RockShox Zeb or a Fox 38 in a similar travel bracket or ride any bikes that are quite a long travel. So it's safe to say that I would have probably had a pretty damn good time on a 38 or a Zeb. 
Um, and yeah, certainly in terms of a defining this fork is better or worse than those, uh, I'm not going to be able to give that to you in this first ride report, but I do hope to welcome one of these into my testing fleet and uh, do some back-to-back -back testing with other suspension brands and other fork offerings just to see how it does stack up in the grand scheme of things. What is absolutely for sure is that Formula offers a really nice tuning sort of uh, all the possibilities and they make it nice and easy for the workshop uh, kind of home uh, tinkerer to do so. Uh, obviously you've got your uh, little lockout lever on the fork, you've got a, a mid high speed compression adjuster externally and then you've got the uh, CTS, a comp compression tuning system that lets you really quickly and easily uh, pop in and out the different uh, compression tuned uh, little shim stacks. We were not able to change the compression tune on this fork uh, during the testing event here. Uh, they were saying that the, the CTS system for this fork is not finalized currently uh, at the time of filming. So I wasn't able to put in the compression tune that would have suited me the best. I definitely, as a 100 kilo, 220 plus pound rider, I do need a firmer compression tune than the mid setting that this came with. Um, but even so, with enough, of the compression adjuster here dialed up uh, almost all the way to the top. I was able to kind of get enough support out of the fork. These trails are not overly steep or rowdy, um, so I wasn't quite able to, uh, yeah, really test the maximum capabilities of the fork. But one thing is absolutely for sure, this thing is nice and smooth and supple off the top. Um, you've got the Neopause uh, air volume tuning system as well, which are like conventional volume reducers, but they have a certain level of, um, they themselves, as the fork pressure increases, they reduce in their size. So the overall ramp of the fork lessens as you near the end of the stroke, just to provide a little bit more comfort towards the end of the travel, rather than hitting a really firm wall of support, like you can get with a, a fork packed of standard volume reducers. So that's really nice to see and something unique to the formula. Um, but yeah, certainly looking down on a dual crown fork, I don't think there's anything better. You just get that downhill mindset. You have a really solid connection between the bar and the fork. Um, and in terms of just psychology, just looking down on that makes you want to charge. Um, and that's important. That's not something that should be discounted when you're talking about a product because psychology is a very important part of mountain biking. And if you trust the cockpit in front of you, then chances are you're going to ride that a little bit more confidently and uh, with a little bit more aggression. And that proved to be the case. I've been as pretty inspired riding this thing and just trying to go as absolutely as hard as I can here on the local trails and uh, definitely been a lot of fun. Obviously, I will not be able to tell you is how it does compare in terms of overall chassis stiffness. I'd actually say this does not feel like a super stiff fork. Uh, that is going to be good for some riders, bad for others, depending on how heavy you are, how uh, you like to ride your bike and what terrain you typically ride in. But it doesn't feel harsh. And I think that's quite important to say, even that as a heavier rider, it's not a fork that has felt super harsh and uh, yeah, that's got to yield benefits in terms of comfort and traction. Uh, so I think Formula so far has done a really good job. I'm really excited to spend more time on this and really confirm my initial findings. But so far, all as I can say is it's definitely been a solid fork and uh, definitely one that's inspired me to charge hard. And uh, it kind of doesn't really get better than that when, you, uh, when you're reviewing something to hop on a new fork and to uh, absolutely go and just be able to tweak and tune the setup as you go and uh, get it better and better every time is always awesome. So kudos to Formula so far. It's definitely not a cheap fork, uh, don't get me wrong. So I wouldn't necessarily say off the back of this review, you need to go out there and splurge all your money on one. But uh, if you're curious, if you like the tuning potential of the Formula products, and if you want a dual crown fork on your bike or your e-bike, then uh, I definitely can't recommend against it. One thing I will touch on, steering angle is a big concern for some people anyway and uh, maybe a reason why a lot of people would shy away from a dual crown straight away front end quite high but front wheel feels i guess quite easy to maneuver quite light 
might end up being a little bit too light for some steep bits. But we shall see. Purely speculation. Also, definitely going to end up on the bumpers, on the head tube at some point up here. But it's not like that. Those first corners are open and not ran into issues yet. But as you'll see from the footage, I've been riding some trails, some climbs that are pretty damn tight, pretty much as tight as I ride anywhere in the world uh, on the uphills. And while it's definitely uh, possible for you to end up on that bot uh, bumper on the head tube and at your maximum steering lock, there was only maybe one or two times that I found it to be limiting me uh, and I wanted more lock. And in those times, it could have been avoided by a slightly different setup entry to the corner. So I don't think it's a problem at all. This definitely wouldn't stop me from uh, fitting this to an e-bike or a mountain bike and uh, trying to climb some technical stuff. So yeah, there we have it. Do you think a dual crown fork is the right thing to go onto your enduro or e-bike? Um, for me, it's something that I'd love to see more of and uh, love to see develop further because there is just nothing better than the look of a dual crown fork on a mountain bike. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Leave us a comment, let us know your thoughts on that. Give us a like if you've enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel to see more awesome content on awesome products like the Formula Belva. Thanks for watching. Catch you out on the trails.